Today we're going to learn all about one of the most annoying insects in the world, the mosquito. Mosquitoes are small, but they leave a big impression. They bite people to drink our blood. And when they're done, they leave an itchy bump behind. Some mosquitoes can even spread diseases. While you've probably been bitten by a mosquito before, do you know where they come from and why they bite us? To learn about mosquitoes, we'll follow them through their life cycle. Like many other insects, like butterflies and beetles, the mosquito has a four-part life cycle. The first three parts of the life cycle, the eggs, larva, and pupa, all live in the water. Only in the final adult stage does the mosquito leave the water and become able to fly and bite. The life cycle begins when an adult mosquito lays her eggs on the surface of still standing water. A single mosquito can lay hundreds of eggs in her lifetime. Some mosquitoes lay their eggs hundreds at a time in what is called an egg raft. The eggs in an egg raft are stuck together and float on the surface of a source of standing water. Other mosquitoes lay their eggs stuck to the inside of a container. These mosquitoes will lay their eggs one at a time along the water line. When the container fills with water, the eggs will be able to hatch. These different types of mosquitoes will prefer to lay their eggs in different types of habitats. Some may lay their eggs in larger bodies of water, such as a pond or a green pool in someone's backyard. Others may lay their eggs in containers that can hold as little as one quarter inch of water. The thing they have in common, though, is that all young mosquitoes will need standing water to survive. The young mosquitoes that hatch out of the eggs are called mosquito larvae. Mosquito larvae live completely underwater, though they will often be seen hanging out at the surface using a special body part called a siphon to breathe air. When a larva senses a predator, like a fish, or another insect like a dragonfly larva, it will escape using a wiggling motion. Because of this, they are sometimes called wigglers. Larvae eat tiny particles of food, such as bacteria and algae, by filter feeding. They have mouth brushes that filter out any edible bits of food in the water while letting the water pass through. Mosquito larvae will usually grow quicker when the water is warm such as in summer, and slower when the water is cold, like in winter. After a larva has eaten enough and molted, or shed its skin, several times, it will molt once more to become a pupa. The pupa is the metamorphosis stage of the mosquito life cycle. It is kind of like the cocoon or chrysalis of a moth or a butterfly. The pupa does not eat because inside it is focused only on transforming into an adult mosquito. Even though pupae do not eat, they can still move. They usually stay near the surface using their siphons to breathe, but if they sense danger, they will quickly launch themselves away. After its metamorphosis is complete, the adult mosquito emerges out of the back of the pupa. It will briefly rest on the surface of the water to dry out its wings before flying away. Now that they are adults, male and female mosquitoes have different jobs. Male mosquitoes eat only nectar and spend their time searching for a female mosquito to mate with. Males have fluffy, feather-like antennae that they use to listen for the buzz of a female mosquito. Female mosquitoes are the ones that bite us. They need to collect blood so that they can use the nutrients in it to lay healthy eggs. When they bite, they use a long biting mouth part called a proboscis to pierce the skin and find a vein. As they bite, they inject their saliva into our blood which causes that itchy bump and can also spread diseases.
Mosquito scientists often need to take a closer look at a mosquito. They might need to know what species the mosquito is or to tell if it's a male or a female. But you don't need a fancy microscope to do a little mosquito science of your own. If you find a mosquito or any mosquito larvae or pupae around your home, use a magnifying glass to get a closer look. Hold it about an inch away from the mosquito and take a look. You might see details you hadn't noticed before. To learn more about mosquitoes in San Diego County or the Vector Control Program, please visit our website at sdfightthebite.com.